I'm riding one of the hottest green vehicles in Silicon Valley today. The methanol-powered forklift. Michael Canellis for News.com here at Orgia Protonics, a startup in Sunnyvale that makes a power system for one of the fastest growing vehicle markets around. This Toyota forklift contains a methanol fuel cell created by Orgia. The fuel cell continually charges the battery and the battery powers the forklift. The fuel cell, however, can also power the forklift on its own. Best forklift I've ever ridden. Who cares? Warehouse owners. If you look at the day in the life of a forklift, you would start the morning, three, four, five hours into the shift, the forklift operator would be back to swap the batteries. Drivers have to bring in their rigs midday to huge charging stations to swap their batteries. That takes a lot of real estate and a lot of space at places like Walmart and Target and Costco. With this, you could go two-shift operation if that's what the really? customer demands, or you could go three-shift okay. operation. A lot of companies have tried to bring fuel cells to market for years, but they've been mostly looking at cell phones and small electronics. Orgis trick is that they are doing it for a big honking system like this. Here's the fuel tank right, right. here. Okay. Fuel and tank you connect, you just drive past a refueling right. station. In less than two minutes, this is filled up. Off you go. Here's how it works. Methanol, which is wood alcohol, is mixed with oxygen and then run through a catalytic membrane in this blue box. The reaction rearranges all the atoms and produces water, carbon dioxide and electrons. The electrons are then fed into the batteries, which is that yellow box. Today, I think there are about a million and a half electric forklifts in the U.S. existing. Really? So how come it's taken so long for fuel cells to hit the market? It's the scientist syndrome. Engineer has to develop what the customer wants. I'm Michael Canellis for News.com.